people sometimes ask when I'm drawn to, to do, you know, shooting in, in cold and windy and snowy environments. And I guess it's, um, I have a hard time putting an answer to that. I guess like anyone who, you know, who plays or, or works in these areas, the mountains have been the, the currency of, of my life and the source of so much joy. This is perfect stuff, you know, shooting through these trees, with Steve, you moving through this, this wild alpine land here. From a photography perspective, just I think it's just a really amazing challenge to work with a very light kit. I mean, we have about as light a you know photography or cinematography kit as you can get here, and that's the same principles that apply to mountaineering. I mean, you can't put too much gear in your pack, or you don't make the summit. So the storms just start to come in. We've got some really good snowflakes happening. It's going to bring great texture. Um, the wind is picking up. And it's, it's gonna just really, really make a great alpine feel. My first assistant, Draper White, and he and I are, are running with the 1DX cameras and covering different angles today. This is my kit, everything fits right in here. We'll get up on the ice and uh, shoot a whole section of the film with maybe four lenses and one camera body. Pretty excited about it. What we're gonna do here is have a remote audio setup so uh, Matt Van Bean can come up and run field audio. Down to Ben, who's working with the Ederol field audio recorder, and he's running the levels and making sure that everything's right. We have a Sennheiser MK416 shotgun mic, a little wind muff, and that helps reduce some of the wind noise. We're using a remote transmitter, a Sennheiser SKP2000. So the nice thing is we're free of cords, so we can be working up on the ice, anchored in, so it's a cool process, and Ben can be doing it here from the ground. I think it would actually be nice to be cutting left to right. It just creates more attention yeah. that way. So let's just let's just play, right? Yeah. One thing you'll notice about this film is that Steve is climbing without a rope in it. And in actuality, we he was on a safety line for virtually all of the climb. He was wearing a harness underneath his clothes. It allowed me to shoot ice climbing and to shoot Steve from, let's just say, 12 different perspectives on the same 20, 10 or 20 foot section of ice. And that allowed us to be really creative and do things artistically that just aren't all often done, you know, in ice climbing films that way. So it allowed me to go in with a 100mm macro right in Steve's eyes on the route, and then also to work with a 14mm lens, pulled back and show a huge sweep of ice. And then I could swing out of the way, and Draper, who's up the slope, you know, two or 300 yards away, he could be shooting with, you know, a 45mm tilt shift lens and get a big sweeping panoramic from the sides. I'm gonna swing over to uh, your left when you're ready. First, are you having fun? <laughs> Something like it, I guess. <laughs> and I wanted very much to bring the viewer close from the ice climber's perspective, right against the ice itself. You see, it's been taking a total beating today. Uh, more or less everything else has, you know, fallen apart in some way, but uh, the camera's been held, holding up incredibly well. And it's amazing. It's, I mean, if, until you do something at a certain level, you never know what it's like. How was that, Draper? That was great. I got some good stuff. I think we had perfect weather conditions for it. Yeah, it's a little less snowy than it was before, obviously, but it actually helps me out. I can see a lot more. I think we got what we need here, so feel free to wrap from your position. I wanted this film and the visuals to be three things. I wanted them to be spare, bold, and ethereal. Uh, Draper and I are gonna be playing with the tilt shift lenses as well, really excited about that. He's gonna be running a 24 tilt shift. I'll be working with a 45 millimeter tilt shift as Steve is making the approach. And what that really does is allow us to drop everything out in the plane of focus, like the ice climb and stuff above is gonna be out of focus. We'll have a horizontal plane of focus just on Steve, and it just makes it look a little bit otherworldly. It looks very different um, when it, and Steve becomes very much in his own world. Well, Drift Brian just got some great footage, and we had Cedar, our RC helicopter pilot, flying. He got the ship in the air, had the 1DX on it for one flight for about maybe a minute, and then there were some technical difficulties. And it crashed into a tree at about 30 feet up, plummeted to the ground with the camera on it. It's a good thing it's a sturdy camera, I guess. 
I was thrilled that we were able to use the 1DX camera. In my mind, it's one of the ultimate cameras out there in the sense that it's built like a tank. It has incredible low light performance. I'm not even at a high ISO. No. The sensor is unbelievable. I'm shooting at ISO 10,000 and I'm seeing more through the LCD screen than I can see with my own eye here. What is that, Tyler? That would be a WRAP wrap. Woo! Sweet. 